EA Sports FIFA 20 sponsors Saturday Social. Super Sunday, we've got to talk about it. One of the most iconic fixtures in Premier League history. There it is Liverpool against Man United. Yeah. Super Sunday from four. We've got Liverpool and Man United fans. Look at Zoo. He's buzzing oh, for it. Come He's on. Oh, gosh. I'm already nervous. <laughs> you must be a little bit nervous as well, though. Because... Listen, all I'm going to say is Liverpool. Na, 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 Liverpool. That's all I'm going to say. The unbeaten records on the line for Liverpool. Yep. Meanwhile, Man United, we badly need a win yeah. after that pretty harrowing defeat against Manchester City at Old Trafford a couple of weeks ago. But it's been a busy week for Manchester United as well, hasn't it? Beating Wolves in the FA Cup. Ashley Young's gone to Inter, mm. meaning that we have no longer got a club captain. That was until Ole Gunnar Solskjaer announced this yesterday as to who's taking the armband. Harry has been wearing the captain's armband and he will keep wearing it. He's come in and been uh, a leader in the group. He's been uh, very, very... Uh, I've been not surprised, but I've been impressed by his leadership skills. So Harry will keep on wearing the, the armband. Hmm. So Harry Maguire, HP, let's get your reaction to that. Happy with him captaining? Um, content with it. Not happy. Um, he doesn't, he's just come into the team and yeah. he's already been given that responsibility. I think that we've passed the captaincy around too much. Mm. Um, it kind of just shows where we are at the moment. I just don't know what's going on. I think Oli's a very emotional guy and I think he's done that off the emotion. Anyone that's a nice guy with a big head can become a manager. <laughs> captain, wow. you know do, you think, do you think he can stack up eventually against some of the Manchester United great captains? Because over the last few years, I feel like we've struggled to hit those heights of sort of... Yeah, because we just keep and chopping and changing our options. managers. It's been like there's no consistency for yeah. a player to actually become a captain of a, of a team True. where we just keep changing. So, But he is a good guy and a good player, so it, it probably will work for him. But, yeah. Interesting about that. David De Gea, how do you think he will react to that? Um, of course, he has been captain on a number of occasions, but Ashley Young's been club captain, been there since 2011, 386 appearances. Do you think he would have had his eye on the armband? Uh, I'm sure he won't be happy about it, because he, yeah, he's probably one of the longest-serving players now. Um, I guess it's his consistency this season that's kind of been, uh, been a bit more up for debate. He's probably one of the world's best goalkeepers. But it all depends on what is his actual leadership on the pitch. Just because you're one of the best doesn't actually mean you're a good captain. Yeah. Um, and to be fair, being a captain in goal is quite hard, especially when the players, like the striker, is the complete other end. You're not mm. going to be able to hear you. Uh, so maybe, but I also just don't think David, uh, David De Gea would be that bothered. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and of course, Man United got to talk about Bruno Fernandes, Joe. Oh, um, please. Let's just get this move over the line. Yeah. And, and that is a reaction. I think a lot of Man United fans on social are, are wondering what is going on with the deal. Yeah. So this is the latest as we uh, understand it. Our colleagues at Sky Sports News uh, tweeting Could we see Bruno Fernandes at Anfield on Sunday? Maybe not as a Man United player, but their transfer target could be in the stands against Liverpool ahead of his proposed move to Old Trafford. So, Harry, as a United fan, yeah. Is this a transfer you're buzzing about? Do you know a lot about him? What, what... Yeah, I mean, well, I thought he was going to come last season, so that's why I kind of put him in the back burner, kind of forgot about him. Yeah. But now he's back again. Um, he seems like an amazing player, and we Joe was speaking earlier about how his goals and assists this season have been really good. And I think that's something that we actually do need. We need that kind of creativity in our midfield, so I wouldn't say no to it, and um, hopefully he's Poor. not just a YouTube player. Yeah, it's, that's on screen now. Actually. You <laughs> yeah. mentioned Thank goals you. and assists, and yeah. they, they are... It's, I mean, it's pretty good, isn't it? Total yeah. 82 appearances, 39 goals, 28 assists. Yeah. Some critiques to that, saying yeah. it's not quite the Premier League the league is playing in, but you can only score an assist in the league you're playing in, and it does, does look good. Yeah, I am interested to see what it kind of means for the futures of the Lingards mm. and Pereiras and Matts. From, from a rival's perspective, Zoo, <laughs> are you nervous about Bruno joining, or do you just think, nah, I don't care? <laughs> 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 I mean, you know... You guys got your little player and stuff. Oh, wow, <laughs> wow, wow, wow. You got your little player and stuff. You know, I mean, I don't think United are good with the, with the transfers, man. True. Let's be very real. true. Just the amount of arrogance that's <laughs> oozing. Let's do a comparison <laughs> on this side. Let's just wow. do a comparison. Virgil van Dijk, yeah? Oh, Harry Maguire. Got. He's worth more money. <laughs> uh, Weren't they worth around the same price? Yeah, no, I think we, we paid more for Maguire. Five, five yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe five mil extra for Maguire. Oh, in, you know? in, in, in football, that's about 5p. <laughs> I'm going to make you even happier with this uh, stat that we've Go got. On. Because, of course, Liverpool, as you're fully aware, unbeaten so far. 21 games without yeah. a loss. Now, of course, the only team to go unbeaten in <laughs> the season is Arsenal's Invincible, 2003-2004. Oh, yeah. But what's interesting, this stage of the season when Arsenal were invin Invincible... Uh, they were second in the league. So, mm -hmm. although they hadn't lost a game, mm -hmm. look at the comparison. After 21 games, Arsenal, points 49 behind. points. Liverpool, 61. So, it illustrates just how amazing this Liverpool team's mm -hmm. been this season. I don't want to hear no Arsenal fans talk. That's what it is. We've been unbeaten for what? 
it's like, is it not like 40 games in a row now? Yeah. Last time I watched Liverpool lose was at Man City last year. I haven't watched my team lose for a year in the Prem. We've, we've basically done it already. Basically oh. done it. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What I meant was, what I meant was, we've basically done unbeatables already because we've done 39 games. It just oh, hasn't no, been no, in no, a no, season. No, 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 can I just say as well? That's so well. We'll, we'll, definitely, we'll definitely be clipping that up. We'll definitely yeah, be clipping yeah. that up. Um, speaking of Liverpool's unbeaten record, Gary Neville had this to say about it last weekend. Liverpool. Because the influence on referees. Liverpool's unbeaten record go will be going on the 19th of January at Anfield. Hey. The manager will be going. Ooh. So, Harry, um, <laughs> I've got words from Harry and Never, and yeah. Never there. Will either of Liverpool's unbeaten record or Man United's manager be going this um, weekend, do you think? See, the thing is now, I genuinely have a strong feeling that Manchester United are going to pull off one of those things that we do. We've done it at City, <laughs> we've done it at Spurs. Oh. I think maybe not, not, maybe not beat them, but they will not win against us, I don't think. I think the pressure of... Liverpool just wanting to continually become the unbeaten team will get to them and then we will just see it. Shaky legs. Shaky legs. I'm saying <laughs> Fred Masterclass. Wow. <laughs> I, I do have to say, though, they have been so consistent because mm. I want to throw back to a Gary Neville tweet yeah. in 2016, yeah, October the 24th. Here he is saying that he took this photo at Anfield and he's changed where greatness happens to where greatness happened. Ooh, past oh. tense. That was 2016. <laughs> and I have to say that in an interview he did with Soccer AM six months later in 2017, he's pretty much predicted the future. Taking at Anfield on Monday, oh, it was brilliant. I was walking through the lounges to get to the studio and it said, Anfield, where greatness happens. And I just changed it to happened. <laughs> now that tweet, trust me, when Liverpool win a league, if they ever do again, which is You're gonna gonna be it. a very depressing day, a yeah. bad day, that is gonna come back at me, retweeted <laughs> time. 10, 000, <laughs> million time. times, yeah. So that's a tweet that you send knowing full well, <laughs> it's gonna hurt you one day. <laughs> Zoo, let's get your reaction to that. I mean, he said it, innit? <laughs> he said it. At the end of the day, what, what I think is funny is, even if we do lose, even if we don't do the unbeatables, we are one of the greatest Prem squads of all time. Not the greatest, but one of them, yeah. Oh, OK. Oh. Right, let's settle this prediction. Uh, as a neutral, Zach, yes. go on. How do you um, see it going? I see Liverpool slapping United 3-0. <laughs> oh, Zoo. I mean, last time we played you, um, you sacked your manager. So, you know, I see <laughs> I, I see a 3-1. I see them scoring first, United scoring first, all that excitement, and then we just end it 3-1. Yeah, um, if you were to ask me about two weeks, three weeks ago, I would have said, I want us to lose because I want Oli to go. But I know he's not going anywhere. So, 2-1 Man United. Ooh. Ooh, I think without Marcus Rashford, which seems a doubt, mm. obviously, thanks to that injury, I just think we're going to struggle. But, you know, Man United, I'll go 1-0. I'm going to say 2-1 Liverpool. I think. OK. Yeah, I think it's going to be a cracking game. <laughs>